an elementary school teacher, have a classroom of 20 students. My kids are brilliant. They sometimes come in and they know way more about technology. When they're so active, I have to find new and challenging ways to keep them engaged throughout our lessons. When I have the opportunity to use a device or use a program that matches what they love to do at home, it's all the better. I would say I'm not the most tech savvy teacher, but I do try to implement technology into my classroom. So, I know you're looking up here, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I absolutely love technology, and I love using technology with my high schoolers. This is the way they learn. This is the future. When I was in school, it was textbooks and notebooks and pencils, and now it's tablets and computers. Remember, we're going to cut it into eight equal parts. When I started using ClassFlow, I thought, I can actually put the work right there in front of them. They're able to engage and use technology and then have it go right back to our whole group lesson. We did an activity where we had to write our partner's names on uh, a certain piece of paper and we took a picture of it. And we sent the pictures to the board so we could see them. Is this you? Yep. All of your answers are going to populate up here. And I'm incorporating answers that they're giving me and now we're analyzing and we're looking at different answers from different students and it really allows them to have a stake in the lesson. You could easily manipulate it to where you set up a class, but within that class you could set it up with different groups. The teacher can individualize the material for the student based on their learning style. I use the assessment builder to engage the kids by sending it to them individually. Well, you can choose to have a multiple choice question, a short response, you can have a true false. And those questions can be leveled, so students have the opportunity to work at the level that is most appropriate for them. Let me go ahead and send you this card. And it should be popping up on your screen. When the student sends the card back to me, I can view their responses to it. I can see what their answers were. When I administer an assessment, I'm able to see their progress real time. And then it allows me as a teacher to decide, do I need to reteach a concept? Do I need to move forward? Everything from documents, web pages, videos, pictures, they all come up and with one click, I'm able to view it, see if that's what I like, and put it into my lesson. The feature that I probably use the most is definitely the ClassFlow Teacher app. It allows me to just move around the classroom and I'm able to have a remote. With technologies like ClassFlow now, learning is just more fun. I think my kids forgot that they were learning when they were using ClassFlow. The lesson became alive. I got to use my iPad and work with my friends and learn all about ancient Egypt. We need to have more technology in school because our world is technology-based right now, and if we don't learn it now, we're not going to be able to move forward.